Pleasant greetings, my beautiful brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. Um, I just had four dreams that I wanted to share with the brothers and sisters. Amen. Let's see what the Lord has been showing me. So, the first dream, I was sitting around a table and um, table was like a circle I would say there was about 10 12 people around this table and there was a gospel song playing in the background and so I was excited like yeah and I was worshiping the Lord and I was just worshiping and I was just worshiping and I was just praising him and um, I noticed that everybody else they sat down and it was just listening. And then I felt the Lord saying to my spirits, like, this is my church. They think they could just think the worship song and it's worshiping me. They need to open their mouth and worship me out loud. Amen. So then I knew that the Lord was saying that he needs his church to worship. They're not worshiping. Amen. Brothers and sisters, people go to football stadiums. Stuff like that you shouldn't be doing anyway, but I'm just saying, you shout, they shout so loud for their team that scores a goal. But when it comes to worshiping the Lord, you can't open your mouth. The Lord is saying that He wants His church to open His mouth, their mouth, and worship Him. Amen. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. The Bible says, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. He's due, your, he's due to be worshipped, He's worthy to be praised. Amen. We were just sat around the table, they were just sitting there looking, some were smiling, some had a straight face, some looked like they wanted to worship but their lips weighed a ton. And I was just worshipping, I was just happy. Amen. We meant to pray and worship. Amen. So that was the first dream. The second dream, there was a lady in my community, she's a known crackhead so to speak. And um, in this dream, I was just holding her. And she was not teary, but she was sad ish, close to being teary. And it was like, it's like, it's like she was confessing, like, ah, I was this close to giving up. You know, and I was praying for her and I was telling her, it's okay, don't give up, Jesus loves you. Amen. People will turn their back on these kind of people. Oh, there's no point praying for them. They're too hooked on drugs. Or I'm not going to share no food with them or pray for them in public because people are going to think I'm crazy because they know these people are crazy. We have to look after God's sheep. We have to love them and care for them regardless of how they look or what we might think about them. Amen. We must share the gospel. We must pray for them. We must try to feed them. We must try to help them. We can't be worried about how people think. Amen. And the Lord is saying that He wants us to reach out to the lost and the homeless. Don't just pass them. Don't just say, oh, when I get home, I pray for them. No, stop and intercede in the street. Tell them the gospel. Amen. Pray for them. Take them to somewhere to buy them something to eat. Amen. Because these people are about to give up. Most of them already have given up. Amen. So the Lord wants us to reach out more to the homeless in these times. Um... The third dream. The third dream, I was like, I was outside, and so a policeman came and he wanted to, he wanted to arrest me, but he hid. All his colleagues was around the building, surrounding me, and they were trying to make all kind of accusations, like, like in the past because you was charged with firearms, and in the past. You, you uh, did this and you did that crime and you, you stabbed this person and they was bringing up all these stuff from my past and I was like, oh the sun set free, is free indeed, let the redeemer of the Lord say so I did these things so, I've been forgiven, I don't live that life anymore so why are you bringing it up? and they was getting agitated because I would not surrender and then I took out my phone and I said I'm going to record all of this because this doesn't make any sense and so he tried to take my phone so I was like, nah you're not getting my phone I kind of pushed him away, like, you're not getting my phone. And then all of his colleagues ran out in the middle of nowhere, tried to surround me. So I said, oh, okay. So because you're unlawfully, un unjustly, trying to apprehend me at this moment, you don't want me to record the evidence. 
So I kept sidestepping them. They couldn't hold me down. And I was basically letting them know that, listen, okay, let's just say, let's just say that I'm not saying no to being arrested and no to being detained. But I'm saying I want this to be documented and evident because no one's out here but me and you guys. And I know it's your word against mine. And all they're going to believe the local black kid or they're going to believe 10, 15 white police officers. And so they would not listen anyway. And so anyway, they tried and they tried and they tried, but they couldn't hold me. They couldn't pin me down. They couldn't arrest me. They was getting frustrated. I managed to record some of it. And for this reason, they got upset. Amen. Brothers and sisters, when the news, this is the part of the dream that's important now. When the news recorded it, I don't know how they done it. But if you, what, what was watching from the news, I had a gun in my hand. I was pointing at the police officers and this was why they was pointing their four guns at me. And in in the reality though, I didn't have a gun, I didn't even have a phone, I didn't even I didn't even hold my hand out. You could see me on the news doing this towards the senior police officer. And I was watching the whole and I'm thinking, how did they do that? I don't know what technologies they have. I don't know what they're coming with, but this is going to be a deception that they're going to be doing on the news. Anyway, eventually they left. And I was like, ah, I have to leave, innit? Because you couldn't arrest me, you couldn't detain me, and you couldn't trick me, and you couldn't whatever. So anyway, they left. And then all of a sudden, everybody in the community is like coming out. Like, ah, oh, we wanted to help, but if we came, they probably would have shot you. And I'm just like, yeah, psh, you lot didn't want to help. But anyway... So basically, brothers and sisters, I don't know how the news are going to do it, but they're going to come after us and they're going to have deception tricking people to believe that we're criminals or we attack the government or we're bad people when we're not. They're going to have their, their, their hologram tricks or, or their, I don't know how they done it. But when you was watching, because I was watching it from my, from my phone, what the news broadcast was, and she was like, and we're here in the area of rare, 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 where known ex-criminal gunman, Mr. F.F.C. Campbell, uh, uh, um, is pointing his firearm at the police officers, which is why there was other four police officers pointing their firearms at him. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, wait, that never happened. How did that, how did they even put that together to make that go on the news? I don't know how they done it, brothers and sisters, but they done it. They done it. And um, so anyway, I got away. Glory to God. Amen. And um, the fourth... The fourth dream was there was a um there was a huge disease like worldwide disease and they was basically asking me to go on the news and tell the world what to do so obviously now they tried everything but this disease that was going around they could not find a cure so they called me I was just there to support whatever was going on and then they randomly called me and be like sorry but we didn't tell you but we wanted you to have a off the bat kind of answer not something that you weren't prepared so I read the paper, saw the question, basically it was like the scientists and the, and the doctors and the rare, rare, rare coming to you to ask you for advice on XYZ sickness that's going around. Brothers and sisters, there's going to be a new sickness going around that's going to be uncurable. The government are not going to be able to find a cure. Anyway, obviously when I went up there now and I took the microphone to speak on the news, I had looked up to heaven and I was like, Lord, Tell me what to say because I don't know what to tell these people. And um, the Lord immediately downloaded my spirit. One, Jesus is the great physician. He's the only one that can help you. Amen. But for those that are not saved, don't have faith in the Lord, the closest they can do to try to help themselves is plants. Because when I was growing up um, in Jamaica, our family members knew that if there, it, there was a certain sickness, there was a certain bush. There's a certain pain, there's a certain bush. So, sour slap leaf is to combat cancer. Um, you had different bushes that you would tie on your leg, underneath your foot bottom. 
if something had went up in there like a splinter or a piece of glass and it would pull it out um, it said coconut water was good for your heart I remember the whole list but there's a lot of different remedies that are natural bushes for the body amen and the Bible does say that the herbs are the healing of the nation amen the bushes and the berries these are the healing of the nation they're for medicine amen and this is known in society that's why they put extracts of a lot of plants and different things in these tablets because they're trying to water down it and give it to us in their version with the mix up with tablets and drugs in the tablets but natural bushes are healings amen so brothers and sisters there's another sickness and disease coming it's going to be worldwide it's going to be big it's going to be worse than corona for the government to be asking normal people in society for help because they can't find no cure no fake cure like c19 cure but they actually want a cure this time and they can't get it amen jesus is the cure amen but for those that don't have jesus trying to save themselves the next best thing that they can try to do is like the bible says herbs is healing of the nation amen that's the fortune beloved please take it to the lord in prayer god bless you all i love you all May the grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the place of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide in you and me and us all. In Jesus' mighty precious holy name. Amen. Hallelujah and Amen. Shalom.